Many people, I think, Russia and culture is very interesting because it's so different. But for me as a Finnish person, it is very different in some parts, but in also paradoxically, some parts it's really, really similar. Both countries are definitely very melancholic and, and very fatalistic. People in both countries think that everything will go wrong in the end. But, but how, how you deal with it is, is different. The Finnish person would think that there is no point in celebrating because everything will go wrong in the end. But a Russian person would think that there is no point not to celebrate. I think the first interest was mid 2000s, something like that. I think my mother was watching the news and we were all figuring that, okay, there's definitely some potential of doing business in Russia. The uh, other thing was that when I did go to the university in Finland, I happened to have half of my classmates or almost half of them were, were Russian. So that definitely sparked my interest. I like Russian music, I uh, like Russian folk dances and things like this, definitely. And I like Russian food really much. Porsche, and, and I'm actually really good at making pelmenis. Attention all pelmenis, <laughs> going to war. I want to learn the Russian language. That's very important in order to read some Russian literature as well. And you know, to watch movies and then just understand how the Russian people operate. I'm best at speaking. I understand much less and then I don't really write or read Russian very well. If I find a, interesting words, I usually do write them down and then I try to remember them. But usually I try to try to listen how, how it sounds. I have watched few Russian films, Brat and mm, David Vavayarota. And then, of course, I watched a lot of uh, cartoons because, again, they're easy for learning, learning Russian. Of course, I've watched uh, Knyaz Vladimir, the new one, and then old ones like Vini Puhidit Vagosti and Pisienka Mishonka and that kind of cartoons. Masha and Medvedev, of course, it's great. I try to listen to Russian people, but the Russian people, of course, speak very fast, use maybe slang or just spoken sort of ways of speaking and then, then just, again, speak fast. I want to make relationships with uh, brilliant um, and good, good people in Russia and, of course, do business with them. I'm not going to do it alone because, again, I'm, I'm not Russian and, and I, my knowledge of Russia is limited and I have to learn all the time. This is one of the, the best universities in the country, so I'm pretty sure. Our faculty studies in English of law is pretty small, so I mean, you get more uh, contact with the professor. The professors are mostly excellent. I would definitely say that's good. The sphere of business I want to work in Russia. So it's a consultation or business consultation, that's why I'm studying law. So law is definitely a very tricky part of going to any country. I I think especially in Russia as well. There are companies in, in Scandinavia and in Russia who want to want to do business with each other. And again, something like sales contracts, maybe they, they have different laws about how they should be formed and, and, and maybe they have some disputes in these and I want to, of course, offer my service to, to help them solve those disputes and, and other things. Well, I actually try to ignore politics quite a lot. I, I follow them, but I try to be sort of neutral about them. I, I'm not very keen on having like political opinions, and especially something like Russia. I don't want to have a political opinion about it, and I don't want to discuss it with, with people because, again, you know, it, it might 
put dents into relationships that are otherwise really good. So, so why would I ruin like personal relationship because of politics that doesn't really affect? Of course, uh, if I can choose, it's, it's either St. Petersburg or Novosibirsk, I think. Novosibirsk especially has little less competition on this field that I must at least explore before making the uh, final decision about it. I think, again, Russia is a very big country. I don't think there is a possibility of not doing business in Russia.